Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Help FMC Converter, why you need it. So this is basically it. We have a box after your internet box which uh, clears the uh, the signal, simply uh, um, removes a lot of this uh, jitter, distortion, whatever you call it. So it makes your sound a lot more clear, powerful and evolved. And um, basically have a box, a part in a box, and a power supply for it. Sometimes you can use it without a power supply. It very much depends on the brand and model that you're going with. So, and I've written some couple of things here. I just want to quickly show you guys um, exactly what this is uh, by drawing something for you with my unique drawing skills. Um, so let's say that this is a house, like that, and let's say that your, um, <laughs> this is your internet, internet coming into the house. And let's say that this is your CPE, as we call it in the technical world, um, fiber box or cable modem or um, whatever they call these boxes, you know. Um, and usually you would just take something from here over to perhaps your uh, router here. Let's call this a router with the Wi-Fi antenna. And then you would either, um, I would say, uh, wirelessly have your uh, streamer, phone, whatever. Let's just call this streamer. Um, receive that wirelessly or with a um, cable. So, so what this basically does is that this is an extra box uh, box that um, you could put, for example, from this. Um, fiber box so that you um, remove this connection here and you then have um, this extra box let's call this an FMC converter Let me just draw it in a way so it's more believable. Um, because it goes into this box, then it goes into the other FMC converter, and then it goes over to the router, for example, you know? And again, you, you could have one between the router and then your, your, your streamer. In theory, you, you could add two or more. So basically, th this just boosts the, the signal, taking a lot of this noise that's here, because th this is a huge source of noise. <laughs> this is also a huge source of noise. And you know, streamer also um, <laughs> noise there. <clears throat> so it basically takes this, this very distorted <laughs> type of internet signal and just solidifies it, you know, makes it a lot more clear, powerful, and evolved. So um, that's basically how it looks. Let me just read some things up for you guys. Um, so I was told that you can use them with a fiber box or just with a normal ADSL or cable modem solution, or maybe even a satellite um, connection 
Um, there's even something called Starlink now from Elon Musk and his satellite company. Um, is that how it's spelled satellite? I can't even remember it. I think it's different from language to language. Um, I think it's more like this satellite uh, company. It's just an example, you know, just an example. Um, so these don't cost a lot. They, they really don't cost a lot. And that, that's one of the reasons why they are so good. So if you have a streamer, you should without a doubt consider having a thing like this. Um, because it, it can really help you give you so much more coupling pressure and and fully like handling the signal you know it can it can become if you don't have one it can become very flat and uninteresting and gray and you just lose a lot of that really good sound um if you don't have a a, a converter so and it should be possible to use them on several levels so that you don't necessarily have to have a PSU connected. So yeah, you, you can have, you can possibly not have a PSU connected and then have um, a PSU connected and then a better PSU and then maybe an LPSU and stuff like that. And then you can have like power cable for your LPSU that powers these boxes up. So there's there's not really any limit on, on how good uh, it can improve your 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 signal so um yeah like i explained here and yeah i said that in theory you can do this we just haven't tested this yet me and my friend um so i i have to tell you guys i don't have this simply because i have problems with my house um and the cables so i i could in theory get past that but then i have to get a technician here and I just don't want to deal with that right here and now. Later on, I will definitely do this. But um, logistically, it just can't really be, be done here and now. And, um, but my friend ha has done this. He's done this to an extreme degree. And to start with, I, I would say that it was a tiny bit um, boosted and artificial in sound. <clears throat> but I, as I explain, uh, going past uh, these points here, it will gradually get better and better and better. Just be patient. Know that um, you can you can evolve the sound over perhaps 10, 20 steps. So don't feel as if it's like, oh yeah, I bought this thing and it cost like a hundred bucks and and oh it doesn't work. It do, it doesn't do this part of the detail. It's fake. Just put it away. Fake. Fake box, fake news, fake box, <laughs> whatever you say. Um, it can easily get a hell of a lot better than uh, just the the start connection that, that you get. So, um, and there's also perhaps burn-in. I haven't experienced this myself, but I can imagine that there is some form of burn-in. So, at least try it. And, um, yeah, like, it, like I explained, you know... You, you can upgrade the um, the PSU, the power supply, and go, later go over to an LPSU, linear power supply. Um, and you kind of have to figure this out for yourself. What can work, what what, what, what doesn't really work. And of course, the, there's the other aspect of cables. Cables also do make a difference. Like going, for example, from a Category 3 to a Category 6 cable makes a huge difference. Or like a 5 to an 8 it generally makes a huge difference over longer uh, runs, especially. Especially when you go up to these 10, 20, 30, 50 meter runs. And then you definitely notice something there. Um, and I, by the way, in my house, some few places still have normal Category 5 cables. And they're really soft. They're really soft and mushy. And that's just because it's something that I bought in, in Aldi, the most basic stuff. And I wish that, you know, back then I had used a bit more uh, time on, on dealing with that because that, that's directly exposed to, you know, the temperature variations. So that that isn't 
very good and i have to tell you guys that when, when you were dealing with these really old standards here um very they're very thin they're very weak in in sound they are perhaps a bit bright but a thing that i noticed is that these standards here compared to these sound wise they typically sound very uh, weak and deflated and and of course you know depending on the quality that you have here who makes them with what plugs um and how they they made them and they can actually sound a, a, a quite a bit different but again you know we're going into a gray area here where you as a normal streamer person won't necessarily know this so just know that you you are easily safe just by taking a normal category 6 cable or perhaps even better category 8 cable um and later on when you get into a really good like crazy good system then you should focus on you know developing this more like i've like i've written here so just know that that that's a possibility you know so that that's always nice to to know that that can get better you, you can always do something there so um this is something that me and my friend did we we slowly upgraded all of our land cables and then halfway through the process um we we boosted the cables like like uh, me with my cat five cables i boosted it with putting copper tape on the outside you know um at the router part here um so for example here i had a bit of copper tape the first couple of met meters and then the, like the last couple of meters and yeah it, it does without a doubt change the sound but after a while i would say that a lot of people will then find it a bit irritating because it, it, it just highlights certain parts of the details so that you're getting a lot more bass, you're getting a lot more um, reaction and detail. And for some people, they, they will uh, love that. You know, if they have like a really, um, they have a certain type of sound in their system, it, it can help them a lot short term, but perhaps not work as good uh, long term. So later on, I actually removed that. But it's just so you guys know. And um, because we realized that uh, once we elevated our sound, we could hear this um, uh, at least helping the sound a lot, but helping it in a way that was a bit, you know, a bit like AHP gold fuses or a bit like the lower end of Fortec, um plugs in a way where it was kind of, you know, taking a bit of that naturality away by adding a bit of uh, comfort uh, cushion to the sound so it wouldn't get so harsh because it got more boosted it got more pleasant to 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 listen to so yeah you might want to experiment with that that that's actually a very interesting to uh, interesting thing to experiment with and yeah you can use 3m scotch adhesive pads to dampen these boxes um I mean, you can you can open them up in theory, but again, you know, you you must do on that. I, I can't really be held liable if something uh, bad happens. You know, you have to kind of consult a, a technician doing that. Uh, but yeah, in theory, you can open these up and then dampen them on the insides, not touching any parts of the ele electronical gear. But you could like support the um, the print boards inside or put some around the 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 chassis just to to give it a bit more of a warm organic type of sound that, that, that stuff like that usually happens um uh, yeah this here uh the black tape solution I, I actually did that with my turntable power supply and my router power supply and fiber box uh, no, wait i don't have a fiber box uh, my adsl modem power supply you can just take black um, tape and just wrap it around here from from start to end yeah it, it just makes the sound it boosts the sound make gives it a bit more bass makes it a bit more organic and natural and actually what i did was also do it a bit around the 
the the base here but again you know <laughs> i mean potentially that that could start uh, create a fire hazard so i'm pretty sure that companies won't recommend you doing this so again know that it, it has its limitations and of course the more tape that you put on it the more it kind of closes the sound in uh, you know you know boosts the sound helps it while um, closing it in so yeah i that i did all of these things because i had a big room and when you do all of these small things it it kind of helps you find uh, you know fill up those last square meters of of room that you have so it doesn't become so thin plingy weak and um yeah to some degree it, it really made the sound uh, a lot better but again you know we're talking about compensational sound effects so you don't really want to do these things when you have the very best sound equipment in the world but still i'm, I'm still very far from like the very best sound in the world so i can still to some degree do these things and get some some positives uh, out of that and i think that a lot of normal people with normal um gear can can also get a lot from um, a lot of um, potential good sound from from doing this and in the end you know just just realize that don't just judge it connecting it and thinking that oh it's that type of sound yeah i'm not really into that um just realize that it, it, it's kind of a a journey process just with a lot of like with a lot of things in, in hi-fi especially when we're when we're talking about optimizing the um, the digital part of our system, you know, the streamer part and router and all of that, it, it, it can be a bit of a long process realizing the full potential. But in the end, this type of stuff here really helps a lot with, with the sound. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys in, enjoyed that and like and subscribe if you can. Have a nice day.